What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Pokemon X and Y news. Gamescon happened yesterday and some more X and Y stuff was revealed. Something big this time. Well, really not necessarily a new revelation, but something somewhat interesting. A full English demo of X and Y was playable at Gamescon. And so, special thanks to Nintendan and Sarabi for providing this information. He was able to actually record the entire demo from start to finish. Now, of course, I said I can just watch the thing right now, but I figured the first time of me watching it should be with you guys so we can share our initial reactions, see what we think is cool initially and what we don't. I think it's a really good thing to get my first reaction on camera and that's why I like doing these Let's Watches. Without any more delaying, let's get into it right now. Ready? Go. All right, so one thing that I heard about X and Y is that you can choose the language and you can play it in any language possible. So that makes it like really multi-regional when it comes out. So interesting start. The demo version. Remember, this isn't the full game, it's a demo. But you can obviously see that on the screen yourself. I kind of am getting a little tired of the whole Pokemon start screen with the legendary at the bottom, but whatever. I guess if it works, why fix it? If it works, why, why fix it, you know? Okay, so I don't know who that is. I don't think that's the professor, though. Okay. Okay, so. If you caught on to what she said, basically, it kind of informs you it's a demo, and you have a limited time, so it lets you do some stuff around. And the first Pokemon they find is a Pikachu! And did you hear that? Its cry is actually the Pikachu cry, you know? So, kind of interesting there. I, you know what? It's being played on an XL, and the XL, I think the XL versions of the 3DS and the um, regular DS are really great. Like, some people say that they're too big, but in my honest opinion, especially with the 3DS now, with how advanced the games are, like, the games are pretty much full games, kind of like GameCube games, you know? So, they deserve to have as big a screen as possible, or else the experience is not as immersive, you know? Playing through Kid Icarus on that small, regular DS, I mean, 3DS screen, it's kind of... Bad. Oh, snap, look how fast he's moving. <laughs> Alright, this dude is hustling. You see, like, X and Y looks like a full immersive game. And to me, the bigger the screen, the better for the immersion. You know what I mean? Okay, so... Okay, someone wants to battle. Alright. Interesting. A lot of people were saying the animations for X and Y take a little time, so this might actually be a little bit more of a weight in the interface, but it seems like it moves pretty snappy to me. The graphics, man. So, Chespin is out there, along with, um, Fennekin. Are we gonna see a glow punch? <laughs> Matsu! <laughs> okay. Um, if you look, I think their levels are 30 and 25. 25 for Fennekin and 30 for Chespin. So, fire, okay, that's cooking something. Oh, man, fire spin? <laughs> I'm surprised he took it pretty well. Chespin looked like he might be actually kind of bulky, but then again, Fennekin is only at 25, so I guess it wouldn't do that much damage when you consider. Yeah, the levels definitely have something to do with it, because that did a lot of damage, considering that it was a resisted hit, so... Yeah. Oh, let me just make this focus. Okay, so... Right now... Um, the battle's looking like it's going sort of slow, and he I th he's gonna switch, but you can't! You're in fire spin! Yeah, you can't switch out! It's, it's a <laughs> he was like, oh, I gotta get chest spin the hell out of there! <laughs> this guy, Nintendan, like, he... He told... <laughs> But no, I'm not criticizing you. Do your thing. Use the hyper potion. He's going straight Lance out here, man. <laughs> okay. Then the game looks clean. It looks so clean. The interface, man. Like I cannot wait to have this in my hands. Like play, and like Pokemon is finally in 3D now. So it's like what? Okay. You know what would be crazy if he had the 3D slider up too? Well, when we when we have the games in our own hands, to have the 3D slider up, especially in that XL. I bet it will look crazy, man. And because the game looks clean to me, I don't see any pixels, you know? And you know that the quality is always better when you're playing it in person, so I can only imagine how good it looks when you're actually playing it, you know? Especially with the 3D. You see that fire spin, that glow punch come right out the screen. It... <laughs> oh, man. It might cry? Did it say that Chespin might cry? Oh, really, dude? You guys added that to the game? Come on. I thought... Now you're making me feel bad when I have a Pokemon who's on the last bit of hell. I'm gonna switch him out right away. I don't want to see that. He's about to cry. Did that really say that? Sylveon. 
Now, I don't know if you guys saw the other Wi-Fi battle where Sylveon was playing against Apolytoad in the rain, but it is really a wall. It takes a lot of damage, and it dishes out a lot, too, so I guess it's a tank in that regard. Okay, so Goodbye used Takedown. Critical hit. Wow, that was a crit. Oh, someone's about to get... Oh, it's the Dragon Killer Sylveon. <laughs> I knew that fairy is strong as dragons, but... Damn! She said, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. <laughs> she was like, damn, son. Dragons don't got no weight anymore. <laughs> no weight. No weight whatsoever. And it's hilarious because big, scary, powerful, intimidating. He runs really freaking fast, yo. Did you see how he dashed through the grass? And diagonal movement is now in the game. It's full movement wherever the hell you want. I love that. You can just... Whoa, what, what? They want to trade? Oh, they're battling. Oh. Oh, that chick. I ain't gonna say anything because she's underage, but, you know, if I was 12 years old, she could get it. <laughs> she, <laughs> 12 years old and she could get it. What the hell? Let me just shut up right now before I get the van outside of my house. <laughs> oh, man. All right. No, Froki! No! Oh, he really talks to him. He said, thanks, Chespin, I knew you could do it. And Chespin's like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Yo, you embarrassing me. <laughs> oh, man. Pokemon are charming and mysterious creatures. Oh, we know. But you're charming and mysterious. <laughs> All right, so let's see, what is this? A skinny, okay. An interesting Pokemon to have early in the field, but this is only a demo, so this is all probably experimental. None of this is probably going to be final, but it's interesting to see the Pokemon that they chose to be in the grass. Of course, Pikachu. And Skitty. Is Skitty a fan favorite? Oh, is Skitty a fan favorite? I can't remember exactly, but most likely it is. I know a lot of people were orgasming over Skitty and Delcaddy as being great Pokemon, so, hey. Let's see, who is this? Boony, um, what the hell is that thing's name? I was about to call him Bunnieri, yeah. <laughs> no. That doesn't even look like a Pokemon. That looks like a damn Animaniacs character, you know? Alright, so that is Quick Attack, that, that move. I thought it was like a Water Slash, because I saw Froki using it early in um, a battle video. Chespin? The more, I'm, the more I'm looking at Chespin, the more I'm thinking of it as being a sick Pokemon, man. Like, Chespin is looking badass right now. I mean, Froakie's still going to be my Pokemon of choice, but Chespin doesn't look bad at all. Wait a minute, so that move that he charges into him, is, that's the Vine Whip? That must be one hell badass Vine Whip. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's a, um, that's a Fletchling. Wait, what is it? I can't remember. Fletchling, I think? Fletchling, yeah. There was that badass. It's a man wearing a white jacket. Don't talk to him, he's a stranger. <laughs> you are Xavier? A pleasure to meet you. I am Augustine Sycamore. I've been waiting a long time to meet an exceptional trainer, especially one with a sexy hat like that. Here, let me give you a random Mewtwo. <laughs> this is the Pokemon that destroyed Vermilion Gym. <laughs> I mean, Viridian Gym. You know, but here, you have him. As, you know, take him. I'm surprised you were able to control him, Professor Sigamore. And he sends out Crobat. What I heard is that they updated the cries of Pokemon, so... Like, Mewtwo now has an updated cry along with Crobat, and Pikachu uses its real-world sounding cry instead of its sound from Red and Blue, so... Interesting. So now Mewtwo's about to bust this Crobat shit open. Goes Mega, let's go. We saw the Japanese demo played, so I kind of already know what's going to happen. Since it's only just translated over, they probably didn't change anything really crazy. Side strike. Okay, so that move, I thought it was, um, I thought it was, um, what's the, I thought it was Psy Shock, but that's Psy Strike. Okay. Isn't Psy Shock the one that takes your special and turns it physical? Mewtwo has a more powerful version of that, and I think Psy Strike is what it's called. This is that Shadow Ball. Totally teabags. This goddamn... I'm forgetting Pokemon's names like crazy. Holy crap. I'm surprised. How did I forget that Pokemon's name? It's uh, Chandelure. There you go. And Dragon Rights. That Thunderbolt hitting him for neutral damage. The game's looking so sexual. But of course, Dragonite is bulky, so he's going to be able to take that no problem. Sock Strike once again. 
Sidestrike is Mewtwo's special. Like, that's his exclusive, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's Sidestrike. Psycho Boost is for Deoxys, and Sidestrike is for Mewtwo. There we go. What extraordinary power. You've seen a Mega Evolution. Where did you get that Mewtwo from, dude? Like, that's what my question is. Where did you get Mewtwo? There's only... You'll find another Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. Now, let's go to the new Pokemon Aware. Let's do it, Sycamore. And we walk into... Oh! So that's the end of the demo. Well, right. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. That was an interesting watch. You know, nothing really new was revealed there, and it was all in English, but I still wanted my first reaction to be with you guys. What did you think of that demo slash trailer? preview sort of thing. I guess they were trying to really show off how the mega evolutions were, so that was the main goal of it, and also just to let people get familiar with the interface and the user HUD and everything like that. Uh, on top of it all, the movement speed is crazy, so um, yeah. Either way, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in, and um, this is your boy Etika with X and Y News. I'll talk to you later. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, have yourself a damn good one.